We are counting down the days to RebelCon, and virtual passes are now available at an early bird discount of $200 off the... Welcome, folks. This is three at three, bank, and uh, unusual activity is what we're known for. We find uh, unusual size in the markets that would otherwise be hidden because there are so many trades per day um, in the neighborhood of seven and a half million quotes per second stream from the U.S. exchanges of stock options and futures. So how do you find those? How do you see those? Well, we don't, the computer does and the algorithm does, and then it shows them to us and our team dives through it. So that in a nutshell is what unusual activity is. And then we follow on the bullish side with calls and on the bearish side with puts. Here's a recent example. This is from last Friday. And as you see, it was in the final uh, what, 12 minutes of trading before the market closed, even though, of course, S&P 500 options do trade for another 15 minutes after the market closes. But nonetheless, as you see there, SPY bearish puts 48,000 of the October 395 puts were changing hands. So what I showed you below there is $8 times 100, because every option is for 100 shares of stock. So that's $800 per option times 48,000 means it was a $38 million bet on the close Friday when the market was tanking um, that the market would continue to go lower and take a look at the level. SPY was 408.12. Well, um, whoops, sorry about that. There is where the SPY went today. Those puts went up to $13, as you see. Those are the 395 puts in October, $13.5. So I took that as $5.50 uh, times 100, which is $550, times 48,000, the number that they bought. This is the profit so far in that trade, $26 million in that one trade. $26 million. Um, that's a big trade. That's why we follow when they buy those big blocks of calls, or in this case, puts. And this one has already made us cha-ching uh, some very nice uh, kudos and very nice profits. All right. Let's talk for a second about RebelCon, because RebelCon 2022 is going on in Dallas, Texas, September 21st through the 24th. We will be down there in Dallas, Pete and I, um, along with our team for two days of a trading boot camp, as well as great lectures and education. Uh, we have barbecues. We have all these fantastic uh, experiences that you can experience with us September 21st through 24th. Just go to rebelcon.marketrebellion.com. That's rebelcon.marketrebellion.com. All right. How to follow the smart money today at 4 p.m. Eastern time. We will have how to follow the smart money. Just go to marketrebellion.com to register. Now let's talk about this one. ARC, the innovation ETF. Well, we talked about it. It was $52 10 days ago. It has fallen beneath that substantially. It is at 41.59. So in other words, it's down about $11. So again, for an option trader, we have made bank off of this drop because as the stock goes to the downside, or in this case, the innovation shares ETF um, from Kathy Wood's ARC Innovation, um, as this drops, those puts increase in value. That's the nature of the beast. So another nice trade to highlight for you guys. And of course, our Rebels Edge program. Pete and I do it every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, 
three days a week right now. It will be expanding likely because a number of the streamers that are carrying it are telling us that they're getting huge viewers for this. And that's outside of Twitter, outside of LinkedIn, outside of Instagram, and even outside of YouTube. Um, so we're very pleased with the reception. We hope you tune in on any of those that I named. And remember, on YouTube, you can always pull up any of the back episodes as well. Once Twitter goes by, you might have to dig a little bit to pull it up. But as far as uh, YouTube, just go to YouTube, uh, search for Market Rebellion, click subscribe for free, and you can see any of our 2,900 plus videos that are up there on YouTube. Bang. All right. Here's another one. Um, this one's from, I believe, yesterday. Um, IWM was at 188, trades to 184 just a little bit ago, down 1.7%, 15,000 of the next Friday. That's the 09 September 180 puts. Well, those puts have moved up in value as the IWM has dropped by approximately $4.20. Bang. Again, that's the way we love to trade. Let's hit some fresh meat, shall we? MPC, uh, so this is Marathon Petroleum. They're buying 20,000 of the September 98 puts. It's a $101 stock, easy for me to say, $101 stock. They're buying 20,000 of the 98 puts. Okay, 20,000 is 2 million share equivalent of a $100 stock. That is basically somebody that wants to uh, have up to 200 million in the market. Why 200 million? Because 2 million shares, because 20,000 options control 2 million shares times 101, you get the idea. Somebody is pretty big, wants a pretty big downside bet on Marathon Petroleum, MPC. Bang. Next one, Starbucks. S-B-U-X, the uh, purveyor of coffee that, for the most part, tastes burnt. But nonetheless, <laughs> you have to decide how you want to drink your coffee. Um, $82.80. Somebody buys 6000 of the this Friday, just three days hence, because we're on Tuesday already this week, folks. We've got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, three trading days left for the Starbucks uh, September puts to be something or nothing. So these puts are at the 80 strike, about $2.80 out of the money. Um, we are buying at the money and selling, both hands, selling against it one-to-one. -one. As long as we maintain that one-to-one, -one, um, A, we cut into how much money I have to put up to be short Starbucks, and two, I'm addressing a little bit of that massive time decay that occurs in an option that only has three days to live. Third and final, guess what? They're back. And as you remember, they were buying the 180 puts earlier. Well, now they're buying the 176 puts. So yesterday it was 180s. They're betting it goes lower still. This is the IWM 184.70 is where the uh, particular ETF for the Russell 2000 was trading. They're buying 13,000, which is 1.3 million share equivalent at that 176 put strike. You know the drill. We're buying at the monies at this 185 strike, selling one-to-one -one against it, and then hoping to uh, reap some big rewards if the IWM keeps falling. And remember, our friend, uh, both Neil Kashkari and Jay Powell, want pain. Well, they're getting it, and we're getting it. But if you're in some puts, you can offset that pain. And that's what we've been doing. Bang. All right. That's going to do it for us today, folks. Encourage you to go to marketrebellion.com forward slash get started for more. You can also sign up for that uh, event that we've got after the close tonight, how to follow the smart money, marketrebellion.com. Everything's there. Check it out. I'll see you tomorrow. Bang.